This is understanding place value. It's for three digits and it's lesson 9.5. Each digit in a three digit number has a different value as hundreds, tens, or ones. When we take 482, we can represent it as a 400 plus an 80 plus a 2. We've opened it up, haven't we? This is called the expanded form. 400 plus 80 plus 2 is the expanded form of 482. Let's see if we can write the value of the red digit. What's the value of the red digit? We have a 3 here, and which place value is it in? Here's the 1's place, and that's the 10's place. So if we have a 3 in the 10's place, then the value of it is a 30, isn't it? How about this one? We have a 4 in the 100's place. The value of that one digit of this 4 would be a 400, wouldn't it? How about this one? What's the value of this 3? Well, it's in the 1's place, so it just means 3 1's, doesn't it? And here's a tricky one. What's the value of that 0 in the 10's place? How many 10's does it represent? None. Its value is 0, isn't it? That was actually kind of easy, wasn't it? All right, let's see if we can circle the matching number. We have a 200 plus a 40 plus a 3. We need a 2 in the hundreds place, a 4 in the tens place, and a 3 in the ones place. Well, that's got a 3 in the tens place and a 4 in the ones place, so it's not this one. So we can see this one matches, and that's the right one, isn't it? Let's try this one. We have a 900 plus a 10 plus a 6. We have a 9 in the hundreds place, a 1 in the tens place, and a 6 in the ones place. Do you know which one it is? If you said this one, you're right. Okay, let's try this one. Now this one's tricky. Be careful. We have a 40 plus a 500 plus an 8. What number is in the hundreds place? Do you think this is 458? Be careful. Look at, that's four tens, isn't it? That's five hundreds. So it's not this one. So when you're doing your homework, be careful. If they're in a different order, you want to look at how many digits it has. That's four tens. It's not this one, that's four hundreds. So we know it's this one. It's Five hundreds, four tens, and eight ones. Five hundreds, four tens, and eight ones. That was a tricky one. Let's try another tricky one. We have three plus seventy plus six hundred. Do you think it's three seven six? Like this one? What digit is in the ones place? That's just three ones, isn't it? That's seven tens and that's six hundreds. So if you said this one, you're right. We have a 6 in the hundreds place, a 7 in the tens place, and a 3 in the ones place. It was written in a different order. When you add numbers, they could be in any order. Okay? Let's see if we can count by hundreds and write the missing numbers. So it's supposed to count by hundreds, but there's some numbers missing. So let's see if we could fill them in. We've got 100... 200, do you know what comes next? 300, 400, what comes here? If you said 500, you're right. 600, something, something, 900. 500, 600, 700, then 800, then 900 right? 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900. 
All right, let's see if we can look at this model and write the number. How many hundreds are here? One, two, three, four. So we've got four for the hundreds place. How many tens do we have? One, two, three, four, five tens. How many ones? Just two, right? Do you see the number we have? We have 452. Four in the hundreds place, five in the tens place, two in the ones place. See? So you can write your numbers in expanded form also to help you understand the value of each place value. All right? We're going to talk about patterns in hundreds in the next video, and you'll be able to see the patterns that we can create when we write our numbers all out. Okay? I hope I'll see you there. I hope you're doing well. Keep trying. I'm proud of you. Bye.